Darren, I don't think anybody expected to uh, show up and see you eating right now. <laughs> but, They're all starving themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a good sign that uh, I mean you're, you're here at media day? You're, you're chowing down on a on a cup of fruit. Is that a good is that a good sign? I'm just I, on on th Thursday's always deadline day for me. You know, weight cutting. So I like to do my training in the morning, and then I like to see where my weight's at. And and depending on their numbers, I either I'll get a frown or I'll get a smile. So I'm smiling right now. So you know you, you can take what you want from that. Uh, as I say, mate. The next 24 hours is, is my battle, you know. So I just wanna—I don't wanna get ahead of myself. I don't even wanna think about the weight cut. I just wanna focus my attention on you guys. Give everything I've got for one hour here. Go up to my room, chill with my girlfriend, and then my coach will knock on my door a few hours later. And, and, and it's time to go. I'll put my head on. I'll say, "Come on, Dan, let's get this done." You know, the quicker you, the, the harder you train, the quicker you do it. The, the, you know, the less pain it is, and it is pain. So. Let's see, but later, I'm looking forward to it. You told us yesterday you were 182 in the morning. Are you, are you willing to share where you were this no, morning? Can't say where that was this morning. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm getting there. It's coming off, so I feel good. This top is fucking hanging off me. So, and I'm a 32 in jeans. I'm usually a 34, so we'll see. Hope tomorrow's going to be a good day. I know it is. It's going to be a good day. I know you said, you know, hey, at least two more at welterweight. You want to win the title, you want to defend it once, but as you're getting there, are you thinking maybe this is the last one, I or are you still like that? I spoke to my coach. I was like, you know, maybe this is the last one, and he's like, no, defend it. You know, what, what he says goes, but, you know, we'll see. It's just, as I say, I've been at welterweight since I was 18 now, and, and I'm, when I was at 18, I could come in on the Thursday, six kilos heavier and just cut the weight. I, I was young, I could just do it. As I'm getting older now, I'm 25, I'm, you know, I'm coming to my prime, I'm strong as anything. I'm, you know, I don't lift no weights, it's all body weight. I, I tra Listen, I train harder than anyone in this room. That's a fact. That is a total fact. I was at the Institute twice a day. I never seen no fighters there twice a day. No fighters. And they're all just fight. I was cutting weight. I, I train really hard, I know I do. So, my body's just changing, my legs are strong, my upper body's strong, I'm strong. You know, I, I don't know how many fights I've got, but I'm definitely going to go to middleweight soon. I, I just don't, this cut doesn't do anything for me anymore. I, I've, I, I've made it, I'm, I'm here fighting for the title. I set out at 18, fighting at welterweight, I've done it. Middleweight's the next choice now. Nice. Well, we won't see you again until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So, what's the what's the final message? Because you know everybody's worried. Everybody's yeah. thinking about what's the final message. Fuck everyone. I'm gonna put double fingers up, and I'm gonna make that weight 170, 169.8, some shit like that. I'm, I'm mean it. I'm, I'm positive. So it's on camera. <laughs>